Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm gonna show you what kind of job I am doing. I'm working in uh, oil and gas field and our company is providing detection system, air loop system, and breathing apparatus. This system are need to be installed in a rig or barge to protect the people from H2S exposure. H2S is a toxic gas that can kill you at high concentration. As we move on, I'm gonna show you how our system works. Okay, let's start. Okay guys, this would be the setup of your uh, air quality test. If you're gonna do it here beside the compressor. You're gonna use only the uh, filling station, the filling line and connect the uh, regulator make sure the pressure is uh, around 200 bar okay and then start the uh, air quality test so guys we do the air quality test of the compressor to test the quality of air produced by the compressor and we are doing it monthly The next that we're going to test is the uh, H2O and you're gonna set your float to blue. Okay. Then put the tube and wait for five minutes. Okay. And after five minutes, take the reading. The next tube that we're going to test is the oil mix and you need to set your flow to red color okay and break the both end of the tube make sure when you put it on the small tube should be on the top okay and wait for eight minutes When 8 minutes pass, you need to take it, take it off and then you need to break the tube here on this part. Okay, make sure you have complete TP on doing everything. Okay. So guys, this is how you're gonna refill or top up the 30-minute uh, cylinder. Make sure you tight the uh, filling wheel. And these are your two gauges for monitoring and your filling knob. Okay, if you're gonna use this uh, area for refilling, make sure you open at least two mm -hmm. cylinder valve. And open the uh, cascade cylinder isolation valve. When you're dealing with high pressure, make sure you open it slowly. And also open the uh, uh, filling valve. Then start the top up by opening the uh, cylinder valve first followed by opening of filling valve filling knob monitor the pressure from the two gauges and close first the uh, cylinder valve when it reaches your desired pressure, uh, pressure also close the filling knob and release the trap pressure by pulling the filling knob and disconnect the filling line
And if you are finished, close the two cylinder valve. Then make sure you bleed off the uh, pressure from the line by releasing the pressure from the filling line. And that's it. Make sure you have complete PP on doing this thing. Okay? So this is how you're gonna refill or top up the uh, 15 minute cylinder. So this is your charging port and your cylinder bulb so always remember do not open the cylinder bulb when refilling okay so guys this is how you can isolate all the master point first is the aft master point you need to close the bulb A and close the valve B located at the uh, starboard master point here and also close the valve on the top deck on the cascade here close this valve the up supply up drop close that and bleed it off here in the uh, uh, up master point refilling station isolating starboard master point you need to close the valve b here and close the valve c at the end here and bleed it off in the uh, filling filling uh, station isolating reception master point including these three manifolds you just need to close the valve f here in the uh, cross connection it is labeled under the valve and the valve c also close that and bleed it off in the refilling station from the reception master point just for the record if you want to increase the uh, low pressure of the manifold you just gonna turn the uh, regulator count, uh, clockwise and if you want to decrease turn it counterclockwise don't over pressure until 200 because the uh, relief valve will activate at 200 psi isolating left side reception master point total of seven uh, manifold including these three manifolds just gonna close the cascade cylinder valve here close and you're gonna bleed it off also here okay and also close this valve e okay and bleed it off there in the uh, four cylinder cascade refilling station So here is the uh, port side master point. You can uh, isolate it. Just close the valve E and close the valve D there. Here. And bleed it off here in filling station. So guys, this is the operating procedure posted in, posted in front of the uh, uh, compressor and the uh, checklist preventive maintenance this is the uh, bleed off bulb and the filter pressure if you want to change the filter make sure to disconnect this wire and release all the pressure and use this tool to remove the uh, filter cartridge top up cascade pressure okay this is the this one is the uh, compressor line okay it's uh, the procedure also posted here in the uh, cascade rack okay 
and all here are labeled all the valve so you have three uh, drop here this is this one is going to up master point and this one is going to port side master point okay this is the diesel compressor if you want to operate it open the uh, battery on off make sure the uh, emergency shutdown is lifted then start and don't forget to close the uh, battery switch don't forget to release the pressure if you want to start the uh, compressor at least 2000 psi below and the change uh, uh, changing the filter make sure the pressure is zero and lift this uh, cover to remove the uh, cartridge filter okay so this one is going to four cylinder cascade rack if you want to top up that you need to open this valve this is the uh, diesel compressor line if you want to top up all the system using the diesel compressor you need to open that valve okay and if you want to release the pressure of that uh, diesel compressor you need to bleed it off here but make sure all the cylinder valve are closed so i just want to remind you guys that we have a three direct supply coming from the cascade the first supply is here that going to perception master point second is supply going to aft master point and the third is uh, going to port master point so guys for the record again you can open any from this three drop to supply or activate the system it is advisable to open at least two or three uh, supply for two reasons one is to have a enough supply of air during h2s emergency and the second one is blockage of the system because uh, steel could produce ice when high pressure is passing through it it is rare case but our system is already prepared on it actually we have four uh, supply you can use also the four cylinder cascade at the uh, uh, reception deck okay and also for the reason that if one supply damage there are still two line available to supply the system so let's say that i'm going to top up this cascade i'll make sure this valve is open and the cylinder cascade that i'm going to top up is open and check other cascade should be closed okay and then run the compressor then open the compressor valve so guys let's say that i'm going to top up this cascade using diesel compressor so I'm going to open that isolation valve and then open this valve going to diesel compressor, run the diesel compressor and then open the compressor valve.